back here on a special opening day edition of the MLB pregame show. Matt Vaskersian here counting down the minutes until the new season gets underway. And before it does, we'll check out our first Tops player spotlight. Tug Dick will be our man to watch. And he found himself doing a lot of distance running last year as he led the National League in triples. Well, in order to be a guy who racks up a lot of triples, he's got to have two things. Speed and the ability to drive the ball into the gaps and down the line. You know, he clearly has both of those things, and I'm sure his club really appreciates it. Having a guy who can leg out a triple at any moment is certainly a good way to spark your offense. All right, the guys and I will be back to get this one started on the show right after this. Tug Dick and baseball is back. Welcome to the season opener. I'm Super Paul Games. This is the show 16. Just a few miles off the shores of Lake Michigan. We're at Miller Park in Milwaukee. Yeah, go Lake Michigan. Today is here as we get the new season underway with a good matchup between the San Francisco Giants and the Milwaukee Brewers. Make me some beer, Brewers. Season three of my Tug Dick LP. Last year was his rookie season in which the San Francisco Giants went all the way and won the World Series. Will they be able to repeat this year? I think it's going to be tough. Part of the reason they got so far was Bumgarner last year, which the people in the executive offices, the front st office staff, traded away. God bless America and God bless baseball. Let's go play with our balls. The crowd is ready to erupt as their guys get set to take the field. Let's join public address announcer Mike Carlucci. And now, your 2018 Milwaukee Brewers. Nobody cares about the Brewers. They want to see the World Series champion Giants. The only thing that we want to see here in Milwaukee are the sausage races. Man, Doug Fister looking mad as hell. Since there are no stats yet in the year, we're just going to see who's fatter. And Matt Garza wins the who's fatter race. Let's get a look at the starting line. Oh, I can see Crawford back there. Tuck Dick hitting the number three spot. Oh, Brandon Moss is hitting behind him again. Just like last year. Posey and Pence in the one and two spots. Some things never change. I was hoping, uh, Tug Dick was hoping in the offseason they'd get rid of Moss. But he was like, no Moss? But they were like, no, we're going to keep him. There are a few changes to the game from last year. Games might move a little quicker. Hopefully they're still fun to watch, though. They're a lot of fun to play. And there you see a look at the defensive alignment behind him for the Brewers. All right, great. Enough of looking at uh, Lou Croy's back of his head. Let's get into it. Tug Dick steps in now. Man on first, one out. I'm tempted to try and bunt and put Moss up and see what happens if he... Uh... Tug Dick is still bitter about last year with Moss. Like, why don't I bunt? Make Brandon Moss have to take care of the situation. And he'll try to bunt oh, just follow. This one kicks foul. If that was fair, he might have had a shot at that. Tug Dick doesn't forget. Swing and a high pop oh, that might have worked out better if he had bunted. Now. Oh, well, the season's underway. It's good to have baseball back. back What's up, Hunter Pence? You the man. Two. Trying to repeat this year. Trevor Plouffe. What I ought to do, what I'm going to do after this game is we'll look at the li the lineup, the team, the depth chart. It might be time for Tug Dick to see if he can get back to his old position of center field. One two offering is hit in the air after straight away left. Dick will settle under it to make. Yeah, you ain't going nowhere. The Dick has stopped you. You were Dick blocked. Runners on the corners, bottom of the third. You can already see how much faster the game's going. There's no play-by-play -play screen like when I did the LP the other two years. Which is a really cool part of the game is it moves so much faster. Hopefully it's not too confusing to follow that way. Oh, damn it, Tug Dick. Tug Dick's still not the greatest fielder in the world. 
strike and two out RBI. Hopefully he doesn't have the sophomore jinx this year. I hadn't thought about that. It is his second season with the Giants. Second season in the majors. Even though it's the third season as LBs. We were down by a run to the damn Brewers. Top of the fourth. There's also a new mode called Showtime Mode. You can see the little thing down below. If you hold down a button, you can do that. Slow things down. I didn't mean miss. You can do that too if you want to. What are you looking at, Garza? Oh, Tug Dick. Tug Dick is rusty as me. It's like, I should have paid more attention to spring training. <laughs> oh, dear. Our whole team's having a bit of an effort, though. A bit of an effort, a bit of a problem. And this is popped foul off to the right and back into the seats. How about Garza there? He's got two strikes and he comes right after the batter. Oh, gets a strikeout. First strikeout of the year. And for a guy who hit 302 last year, Tug Dick's starting off a little slow. Even routine grounders can sometimes be turned into base hits. Not when you're not making contact, though. Tug Dick full, full of the rage. We're still down by a run. Man over on first. Bottom of the fourth. Come on, Giants. Where's your offense? Last year we went all the way, bros. Let's go no, let's not go Brewers. No, none of that. Is lifted in the air out to left field. Dick has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. Well, at least Dick practiced, I guess, his fielding. I say that, though, but you already boned one up. <laughs> Man on first, bottom of the fifth, one out. He has flied out and singled so far. I honestly have no idea how good our pitching staff is this year, either. Come set, now the pitch. A oh, come on, get there, Tug Dick. Steve Lyons said you ran like a Greyhound, so people can place bets on you. You can chase a rabbit around the track. Tug Dick will step in now. Tug Dick 0 for 5, man on second. It's been a long time coming. They haven't done anything with their opportunities so far. Maybe this will be the time that they finally crack the scoreboard. Brewers booing Tug Dick. Why not? I mean, why? He's a great player. From the belt, the pitch. First pitch. I say that if he swings at utter crap. Boy, that changeups had him eaten out of his hand. I should have practiced more before this game. I've been streaming this a little bit on Twitch. Oh, I don't know what I was swinging at. And boy, was he ever fooled on that pitch? It's 0-2 now. Boy, he's been giving guys fits with that pitch. They've chased it all game long. Here's a swing. Oh, just ball. pulled it. But this will be a For a moment there, I was hoping Tug Dick was going to be able to leg something out. Or at least try and get that guy over to third if we can. He's ready. Now the pitch. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Yeah, Tug Dick's like, what are you trying to do? These are my beautiful legs. How dare you go after my beautiful legs, Garza. Inside location on 0 and 2. The last thing you want to do is hit him. No runs, three hits. It actually would have been good for us if he had been Tug Dick right there. He did not go! Almost, but not quite. Two and two count. Making him throw what? The sixth pitch of the at bat? Did not go again! Nope, full count. Almost went. I'm a little too jacked up like Tug Dick. Oh, didn't even get the guy to third. Well, we got training points, but that is it. Hopefully Brandon Moss can knock the guy in. And we got no runs, so apparently Brandon Moss failed again, too. The whole team is failing right now. Guy on second for the Brewers. Bottom of the six. No outs. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> for a moment there, I was like, no, I hit the wrong button. He fell down. But they hit a home run. Two-run home run. Come on, Fister, you're not having a very good outing. And the Brewers have now taken a three to nothing lead. 
Brewers, we won the World Series last year. Aren't you supposed to respect that and give us an automatic win? I think he's trying to hit it up to the slide up there. Tug Dick 0 for 3, top of the ninth. Our team has no runs. The starter is still on the mound. Our entire team has had a hard time hitting Garza. Oh, I don't know what I was swinging at there. This has been a horrible day for Tug Dick, for the team. He's like, yeah, whack it all game. Oh, unfortunately he got under that. Well, we lost the season opener. <laughs> Not only did we lose, but we got handily trounced. Don't show me your butt, manager. The team only had four hits, one error. Tug Dick 0 for all four. Uh, Bochi or whatever is like, dude, what happened to our team? You can't win if you can't score, so there's probably not a whole lot of debate about who'll take home top player of the game. Oh, good for Matt Garza. Our whole team could not hit that guy. The game's finally counted. He comes out on opening day and turns it. Oh, there's Tug Dick striking out. That's how you want to get your season started. At that moment, he should take the bat and start hitting people in the face. Garza pitched a complete game, it looked like. Complete game shutout, man. That's the way for them to start the season. Not the way for us to start the season, though. But that's all right. There's 161 games left in the season. We can still make that up. So we're going to look at a couple things. We're going to look at Tug Dick's stats. I probably won't do that a lot during the season. His stats are actually really good after last year. I can see his overall is the 99. He's really good against righties, lefties, so-so. Um, he's got really good speed and stealing. His fielding definitely needs some work. His arm needs some work. But all in all, he's pretty damn solid. Why don't we look at the roster? So why don't we look at starting pitchers? These are our starting pitchers right here. Four of the five are in the 80s. Two of them are 89s, including Fister. Our staff is getting older, but we should actually have a decent st starting pitching staff. Relief staff, we have one good reliever in Shaw. Nigel's all right. We have a decent closer in Perkins. So our pitching staff looks decent. Let's look at the starters. Buster Posey is back. Hell yeah, 98 overall. Brandon Belt is back. Oops, what the hell did I do? I hit the wrong button. I don't know. I don't remember you. Wait, Brendan Belt, were you on the team last year or are you new? Are you actually starting over Moss? He wasn't in the last game. Does that mean Moss could actually be on the bench some? Uh, Santana at second. Only a 71. Our third baseman sucks balls. Wait, we don't even have a proper third baseman. Who the hell's playing third? I wonder if Belt is. Because if you look at that, where it says League... It says no MLB starter. These are all double A guys. I think we have a first baseman playing third. Uh, shortstop, Crawford's back. Hell yeah. Left fielder, Tug Dick. We have Gregor Blanco there. Uh, center field, we don't have anyone good in the center field. With Drew Stubbs, Angel Pagan's numbers have gone way down as he's gotten older. Maybe it's... Once we can ask the coach, maybe we should ask to go back to center. Hunter Pence is back. And that is the team. So if we go to interactions, it's too early to ask him that. Another thing we're going to look at before we play the next game is equipment. There's a bunch of equipment. I've been, like I said, streaming on Twitch with a different character. So we, we're going to get a new bat. It has bonuses to power, contact, plate vision, and uh, clutch hitting. Uh, batting glove helps with plate vision and discipline. Uh, fielding glove Helps with fielding and reaction and acceleration. We definitely need fielding help. Uh, cleats, they're going to help with speed and reaction. We need the reaction stuff. A catcher's mask. I don't know why we can pick that. I would love to see Tug Dick wear a catcher's mask out there. He's like, I'm not the kind of catcher you think. I like ladies. 
Um, an elbow protector that'll help with discipline and durability, so he doesn't get injured. Uh, shin protector help with discipline, plate vision, clutch batting, and durability. Uh, wrist guard help with plate vision and batting clutch. Compression sleeve helping with arm discipline and durability. I don't want him to get injured, so we want the durability things. Some sweet shades for looking cool. And then he's got a ritual of... Oh, what do I go with? A lucky silver coin, a rabbit's foot, gum. Um... Perfume, or, yeah, especially, he's going to wear perfume, cologne, to smell sexy for the ladies. All right, and after all that time, let's go to the second game. They're like, did you prepare for the second game? No. Man, our team, look at that, Brandon Moss had no hits to Tug Dick, Buster Posey had no hits. Of our top four guys, only Hunter Pence had a hit. Thank God we're not going to have to... Match up against Garza again in the next game. Just a few miles off the shores of Lake Michigan. Woo, Michigan! Michigan! In Milwaukee. Time for Obviously, I say that because I'm from Lake Michigan. I'm wearing my Detroit Tigers hat right now as I play this. And I've been in Lake Michigan plenty of times. Look at you Brewers all full of yourself because you beat the World Series champions. We need to play better. Manager Bruce Bochy sets his guys up like this. Tug Dick in the number three spot again. Brandon Moss behind us as always. And let's not forget our two starting pitchers as you see how they match up for this one. Ah, oh, we won the battle of the fatter pitcher this time. Matt Kane, insane in the membrane. Look at that giant neck, man. Game two, Tug Dick 0 for 4 in the last series. Last year he hit 304. Like many others, Man on first. In the shutout yesterday afternoon. And he waves at a curveball. Uh, he's like, goodbye, curveball. Nice to see you. Any case, we take a look at the Brewers entering play here tonight. They're coming off a good victory here in front of the home faithful on opening day. Come on, just trying to drop down a bunt and beat it out. Did not even come close to beating it out, but we did move the runner into scoring position, setting Brandon Moss up. All he needs to do is get a hit, and we can score a run, probably. Well, I think this is going to wind up working pretty much like a sacrifice. It was a sacrifice. That's what he had in mind. We're trying to manufacture a run, play small ball, and win a game. And, of course, Brandon Moss did not come through. Nothing happened. Two outs. Guy on first, top of the third. So much for Bunty there to try and help him out. Damn it, Moss. You turd burglar! Don't touch that! Those are my balls! I wish Tug Dick could run out into center there and just go punch the guy. And that ends the inning. One left for San Francisco. Home uh, San Francisco's got two hits, no, no runs. This is kind of like a football game where your team just can't score. Sometimes the hardest score to get is the first score. We're down by two runs, top of the six. All right, come on, Tug Dick. I don't know what you're booing about, Milwaukee. Oh, shoot. He was way in front of that one. This t entire Giants team is having a hard time with the Brewers pitching cold. staff. I think you need to guard yourself from being overconfident, though. A bloop and a blast could uh, nope, this nothing there team. either. Oh, man, I'm getting frustrated. Dick is like, keep calm. Keep calm. Chew? Oh, that reminded me of chewing up. Bases loaded. All right, we're down by three runs. Top of the seventh. Bases loaded. Two outs. The further you get into that bullpen, we need a hit. Tug Dick O for everything this year. If he can get a hit, he can redeem himself and maybe get the team some actual runs. Well, if he gets a hit, we will have a run. All right, come at me, bro. That's a fastball too high to start him out here, one and zero. Oh. Uh, that's what Tug Dick needs is more discipline. He can be disciplined here and wait for what he wants pitch-wise because bases are loaded. They've got to pitch to him or walk a run in. From the belt, kicks and deals. Started to go around, but it's ruled strike one anyway. That's all right. That wasn't his pitch. I wanted it right down the center. 
Swing and a oh, softly on the change up. But a foul ball. Looking for a fastball down. there when I should have been looking for an off-speed pitch. From the stretch. And this is fouled at the plate. Uh, staying alive. Oh, 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 staying alive. Come on, Vic, you need a hit. This team needs one desperately. Don't pull a Brandon Moss. Oh, is it going to go far enough, though? Is it going to carry? Oh, not enough. Damn it. Giants with six hits, no runs. Brandon Moss is... Or not Brandon Moss. Tug Dick's slow start not helping. Tug Dick 0 for 4 with a flyout. Top of the ninth. We have one run. We're down by two. Man on first. So Tug Dick represents the tying run with no outs. He's got to get a hit. He's made some contact. He's had some bad at bats. Brand new pitcher on the mound. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Uh oh, you hear those Brewer fans? They're excited about maybe going two and zero. Set now the pitch. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. And you'd be in trouble at the plate if you fell behind 0-2 against this guy. So he's fortunate to hold up. Our team, time. our whole team, has been in trouble thus far against the Brewers pitching staff. Oh, I don't know what I was swinging at there. That was a hope and a prayer. Oh, again! Going at something way outside, hoping to do something with it. We're going to lose a second game. That was embarrassing. Man, Tug Dick is going to go back to practice. I need to go back to practice. I'm so rusty. Well, oh man, Bochi is pissed. He's like, that is bullshit. You're supposed to be our number three hitter. Oh man, Tug Dick got up. I think it was going down. <laughs> fight, fight, fight. He's our top player of the game. We had 10 hits and only one run. Man, that was a bad job by the entire team. Um, Tug Dick with only one strikeout. At least Tug Dick is making contact and putting it into play. That's not excusing his bad hitting. But what that does mean, what it does bode well for, is usually if you're making contact, sooner or later you're going to start getting hits. This certainly is not the way I wanted to start the LP off, though. Um, where we are two games up in first place already. Padres! Padres are undefeated! Didn't expect that. Oh, well. Thanks for watching, everybody. Next time, we're going to win a game next time. We're going to play Milwaukee, and then we're going to play Colorado. No, or Milwaukee, Milwaukee, and then our rivals, the Dodgers. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. It's going to get better. It's just a slow start. Take it easy.